Dorkesh has advanced the idea that like, why don't we see AIs coming up with these, you know, they have this like incredible breadth of knowledge. Shouldn't we be seeing more connections made, more insights across this like super diverse knowledge base? And I think he even kind of went as far as to say, like, I haven't seen a single example of this. Um, I mean, I think firstly, like, Tarkish should probably read a little bit more of our papers. I mean, this is, this is not the first evidence, like, I think, right in 2023, um, like, right after we did our med plan, um, there was this professor from Stanford, Dr. Gary Peltz, who reached out to us. And I think you probably remember Tao, who came to one of these previous <laughs> episodes before. He called both of us up, and then he was like, Vivek and Tao, you don't know me, but your AI system can potentially help, like, millions of people with rare diseases. I was like, okay, Gary, that's a nice introduction. Please go on. Um, <laughs> and then he was like, I know that your models are trained on a lot of scientific literature, and I think they can help me discover useful facts about genetic diseases. And so we started working with him and on this problem of like genetic discovery. So can like language models come up with like the right kind of causative factors that are responsible for like given combination of phenotypes or symptoms? So we started doing that with MedPalm and even with MedPalm and later with MedGemini, we saw that these systems were able to do this. In fact, one of the hypotheses that the model came up with, it was like a biogenic model for hearing loss, which Gary had not thought of before. And so he went ahead and did like these CRISPR knock-in experiments in his lab. And he was able to reverse the cause of the disease. And even there, like based on retrospective data, we see like these systems are able to, to do like pretty interesting work in genetic discovery. But the key thing is at that point of time, when we were using these LLMs in like a pretty much like a crude single shot fashion, it was very unreliable in this act of like hypothesis generation. So literally for that MedPalm 2 to come up with like one hypothesis that was very, very helpful, it had come up with like thousands of things that were utter garbage. But I mean, we were very grat grateful to like work with Gary, who had the expertise to like very quickly discard away, and also had the patience to like work through all of them. And so that like you know put us on this journey, like okay, how do we make this more reliable? Like we should not be sampling like thousands of times to get something useful. Rather, every single generation should be something useful, and the system should be like well calibrated over here. So that kind of like led us to the 